Okay, first things first, let's give something away before I lose my shit in my rant. <laughs> this is the Nika Tiki New Zealand Sauvignon Blanc Rosé from Marlborough. 98% Sauvignon Blanc, 2% Pinot Noir, and it's a magnum. So it's a guilt-free way to open two bottles by only opening one. How do you get it? Simple. First person to sign up to the club following the link below the video will get this in their first case, free of charge. Right, let's put that down. Despite that noise, the bottle is still intact. Time to rant. So, local business. There's one thing I want you to take away from this video, and that is... Just support local! So I'm going to make this a bit really sharp, short and violent. There's so many people out there saying, oh, I love local business, artisan this, artisan that. Yet they never actually support any of it. These are private customers I'm talking about because uh, I sell to the trade as well, to respectable restaurants, from pubs to hotels, to Michelin star restaurants, to rosetted restaurants, to fine dining restaurants. You know, I'll sell to them all because they trust me and I have 18 years of experience doing this. Even though I'm completely insane with my videos, that's because the wine world is completely dull. <laughs> and I'm just trying to make it more exciting. <laughs> And I don't mean just my business, I mean any business, whether you're a landscape gardener, a builder, a restaurant owner, a pub owner, whatever you are. Not prostitutes, though. <laughs> They're just dirty ladies of the night. Yeah, I've taken my shirt off. Get over it. So, every time you go to the supermarket, what are you doing? You're just putting money in a huge corporation's back f***ing pocket. They couldn't give a that you bought it. They couldn't give a what it is that you bought, whether you like it, whether it's to your taste, and it means nothing to them. If you buy from a local business, that sale means something to that person. Take me, for example, you buy a case of wine from me, I get an emotional. <laughs> but I've catered that case to your taste, and I know you're going to love it. And there's a few things in there as well that are completely outside the box that you wouldn't have thought of, which you're not going to pick in a f***ing supermarket. So I think you know what I'm trying to get at here. Click that link under the video, fill in the form, press submit, and take your life forward instead of backwards. So these huge corporations get huger. The fat people at the top get fatter financially, they don't want to be fattest. Meanwhile, Old Fred with his business is thinking, why the fuck haven't they come to me? I've put my heart, my soul, I've risked my career, I've got rid of my career, I've risked myself financially to start this business because I'm passionate about it. Just doesn't make any sense. Especially as they keep telling me how they love local business and they love the effort I'm making. Then they go to a supermarket. Well, do they think it's easier? Because it is not easier at all. Do you think it's cheaper as well? Because it isn't cheaper! If anything, it's harder. You choose someone like me or any other wine company who I don't actually care about because that's not my business, but I do because it's kind of a video for all of us. You sit at home, you press submit, job done, next day you've got a case of wine on your doorstep. The only thing you have to do is take your f***ing lazy ass off your seat and go and get it. Simple. Then you've got a case of wine at home 
which means you don't have to keep going back to the supermarket and panic buying your little piss bottles every now and then that you may not like, you may like. And this is a funny little uh, thing for you. Here's the educational part. Say you're spending a fiver on a bottle of wine. Let's just have a look at what that money is actually spent on. Roll VT. If you're not leaning back, clicking your fingers with a smooth, sexy, smug jazz face on, then you really need to go and see someone. There you go. Lesson learned. So, if you're one of these people who keeps saying you love local and you love all that kind of stuff, well, stop bullshitting yourself and actually take the plunge and use one of these companies. Again, whether it's me, whether it's a landscaping company, a building company, a f***ing pub, a restaurant, whatever it is, not the prostitutes, just do it and stop talking shit. Oh, God, paparazzi everywhere. Give me a chance to get in the door, for God's sake. I was going to do this. Bada bing, bada boom. God, I hate prostitutes. Right. Let's move on to the three wines I wanted to tell you about as well, because I'm super excited about these, and you are super never going to get these anywhere else. Think of this as your, if you're dipping into wine, you think about investing in wine. This is an investment in flavour, time and flavour, not money, time and flavour. So here we go. Eyes down, ears front, here we go. So, these are three Malbecs from the Cahors region in France, which is the southwest, just near the end of the Gironde River uh, in Bordeaux. In the Middle Ages, it was actually a huge wine producing region in France. And in 1855, Malbec was the main grape variety in Bordeaux Grand Cru Classé. But then shit starts to hit the fan in 1876, when the vineyards were crippled by natural disasters such as phylloxera, mildew, and black rot. Jesus, black rot sounds terrifying. And then the uh, cherry on the cake was in 1956 when a major frost wipes out most of their vineyards. So in 1971 they declared it an AOC making it a red wine only region. And today it's considered to have young vineyards but an old story of complete disaster. So, Cahors consists of three main terroirs, the third terrace, which sits 170 metres above sea level, the fourth terrace, which is 240 metres above, and the plateau, which is 300 metres above sea level. So the whole point of these wines is a quest to bring Malbec back to its birthplace. Let's have a bloody look at them. James, I am Waistcoat Wines, I am a local business, and I'm supporting other local businesses. Maybe you should do the fucking same.